Hey everyone, Will Yard Sales Survivalist here with a uh, something a little different, a uh, little bonus uh, picking video, haul video for the middle of the week. I don't think I've ever done one of these before, but uh, I bought a few things off of uh, Craigslist and the auction, and I thought I'd show them to you before uh, waiting until uh, Sunday. So let's uh, take a look here. Got a uh, German flag. Got to do a few tests on it to uh, make sure it's real, but I'm pretty sure it's real. Uh, the main problem with this is it's been cut down. Uh, the story I got with it was it was part of a banner, and uh, the guy just took his knife and cut it out. Um, who knows? You know, you hear so many stories. Um, I more likely it, somebody had a display case and it wouldn't fit, so they cut it to fit. Uh, but I'm always a little leery when it comes to buying uh, Nazi stuff, uh, German stuff, because there's just so much reproduction stuff out there. Uh, some of these flags they started reproducing right after World War II, um, so you can have a reproduction and it be. Um, just as old as a uh, uh, the real thing but uh, there's some tests you can do to uh, check on authenticity uh, I think that's a video in itself but uh, nice little flag uh, of course can't sell that on eBay unfortunately but uh, even cut down like that uh, hoping to get about a hundred bucks out of it Uh, picked up a nice uh, Japanese uh, bayonet uh, off of uh, Craigslist and uh, same person I had the flag got the bayonet from and uh, this is on eBay right now and I think I just sold the uh, um, bayonet by itself well one just like this same mark and everything for uh, $80 on eBay so this one has the uh, scabbard and the leather frog which really adds to the value so uh, I think 120 uh, is very reasonable for this uh, World War One canteen marked US 1918 BACO I think it's Buckeye Aluminum Company. Not in the best of shape. Got a little hole in the bottom here. Um, but still, World War I, and it's almost 100 years old. Um, I'll probably end up getting about $15 for that. Got a neat uh, Camillus knife. Um, this is the, uh, call this a sailor's knife or a rigger's knife. Uh, it's got the spike on here for undoing uh, knots. I just bought one of these, um, a newer version, um, just a week or two ago. Uh, this one's a little different. It's got a, a screwdriver tip here, uh, which I'm hoping makes it rare because I really couldn't find any others quite like this one. So I put it on eBay for 50 bucks and. Uh, We'll see if it gets any attention. Uh, I have no idea of the value. Got a neat uh, Daisy Red Rider. It's in really good condition. Uh, the sight needs to be tightened up, but it's got the uh, peep sight where you can flip it over to the uh, notch uh, sight. It's nice that it's got the uh, um, leather on the uh, stock still. Uh, this is another one. It's uh, going to be a uh, video in itself. I uh, found a lot of information out about uh, uh, BB guns uh, researching this one. So uh, it's another video coming your way. Picked up a uh, trombone and uh, wasn't as nice as I uh, thought it would be. Um, 
got the two uh, mouthpieces it's a uh, Olds uh, this is an ambassador um, so here's the uh, Olds uh, mouthpiece and kind of neat it came comes with a uh, with a Bach uh, mouthpiece too I could probably sell this loon for about thirty dollars I paid sixty for this trombone so uh, probably end up getting uh, 120 maybe 150 so uh, I was hoping for more but uh, I never took the time to look this one up uh, it's still not too bad it's in decent shape uh, no dents uh, this is really neat uh, no markings on this it, it kind of looks like somebody made this at home uh, heavy brass super heavy brass um, it's not bored all the way through to the to the uh, touch hole comes out comes down that far to the first ring there or that middle ring uh, very well made it doesn't have the brush just this piece here um, the uh, carriage is made of oak uh, very nicely detailed I love the uh, the wheels super solid brass you can see that's a uh, fresh break there uh, it was probably done at the auction I paid 50 for this and uh, I think that uh, um, I'm gonna put it in my shop for like 200 and uh, or best offer and uh, see what happens in the meantime I'm gonna enjoy it in my man cave have it uh, sitting around um, but just a really nice piece and uh, if it if it was bored all the way through it, I'd probably be asking about 300 for it because uh, a lot of guys just want the cannons that they can shoot uh, who knows, somebody might take the time to board us all the way through. I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, some guys do it. And last of all is uh, picked up a really nice little painting. Uh, got this for $25, uh, which I consider a bargain. Uh, needs a real good cleaning. And uh, when it comes to nice paintings, uh, don't do it yourself. Um, it, to me, it's worth the money to have somebody else do it uh, the right way. Um, you can see what a difference it's going to be. Um, but uh, just a really nice scene. Um, sign down here in the bottom. Of course, the problem I always have, it seems, with uh, paintings is trying to figure out what, it, what the uh, signature says looks like uh, Cecilia said Cecilia OSB anybody know what uh, OSB uh, stands for uh, let me know but uh, ran across a neat uh, nice little quote on art the other day I wrote it down actually uh, it says art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life uh, I just kind of like that that was a uh, Pablo Picasso said that. So we uh, go from one extreme to the other. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, mini haul video for the middle of the week. And uh, hopefully, come Sunday, I'll have a lot more to show you. So until then, this is Will the Yard Sale Survivalist. And uh, going out and get a little bit of art for yourself. Uh, everybody should have a little bit of art.